Number eight, wastewater treatment facility effluent discharge outfall diffuser project advanced treatment study and project scope changes. Good evening again. Again. All right, so this is a very long title and it's fitting for the complexity of the subject. So it's the wastewater treatment facility outfall diffuser advanced treatment study and other scope work changes. So the wastewater treatment facility outfall diffuser. So here's our wastewater treatment plant. Uh, this is the Feather River. And right now our existing diffuser is located right here. We have effluent disposal ponds located on the east side of the Feather River. And what happened is in 2011, um, the, the river actually changed to where it impacted our ability to use the outfall diffuser. And so for the most part, we are discharging to the effluent disposal ponds, except when we have high water events. With the Orville incident, that exacerbated the situation. And so um, we have issues with this existing diffuser and that it's, it's really not a viable, feasible long-term option. So through um, the council previously awarded a contract to Jacobs and they were analyzing the location of a new outfall diffuser. Originally, we were thinking it was going to be in about this vicinity. Now, based upon the studies that have been conducted, it's looking like it's gonna be the most stable portion of the river is further to the south. So with that, as noted, since 2011, the city has been studying potential replacement options for the outfall diffuser pipe. In July of 2018, city council awarded the contract to Jacobs for pre-design, design, environmental permitting, right-of-way acquisition, and bidding services. I wanna say at that time, the estimate for the project, we were thinking it was gonna be about the $11 million range. Also, during since then, we've um, had an MPDS permit renewal through the state. And with that, we ex put in the permit that we were planning to relocate the outfall diffuser with the anticipated beginning um, operation of fall of 2022. So we proceeded down that path. Uh, Jacobs completed the pre-design report, 30% design. And then based upon the uh, having to relocate it further south, the complexity of the situation, the estimate is now in the range of 25 million with an upper end of 35 million. Now you can imagine at the 30% design, there's a lot of unknowns. And so they put a lot of contingency in there. But when we heard 35 million, honestly made our heart stop for a moment. And then, you know, we need to take a step back. And so what we're requesting is that in order to really analyze what is the best option to move forward, it's not that we have $35 million. So even if we were to move forward with this project today, we don't have $35 million. But is that the best use of the funds? And so we want to take a step back, have Jacob do an advanced treatment study, because ultimately at some point in time, the state will request that we upgrade our facility so that we do advanced treatment so that we have um, a higher quality. We have high quality effluent, but we have an even higher quality effluent. With, if we were able to do that, then we could do a side bank discharge into the Feather River wouldn't require the diffuser, which is required to get achieve dilution. And so what we are asking is to um, have Jacobs do this advanced treatment study. It will compare relative costs, advantages, disadvantages. Um, and then, you know, just at the currently configured, how the wastewater treatment facility is currently configured compared to what could we do with that amount of money is there the option to utilize that to get us toward that advanced treatment and ultimately get to that side bank discharge and get away from the outfall diffuser? So it's anticipated that the study will be completed in December of 2020. At that point in time, we would bring the results back to council because we're gonna be at a decision point. Do we move, move forward with a different um, project? Do we proceed with the outfall diffuser? And then we've, we've gotta have discussions about how that would be funded and um, you know, the, the option of doing nothing, um, not, like I mentioned, not a long-term viable option. Those, those six ponds only have so much capacity. As we uh, hopefully grow into the future, we will exceed that capacity. It gets exceedingly more difficult to take a pond down to do maintenance. And so um, we are in a situation that we are going to have to do something at some point in time. 
The fiscal impact is that we have initial contract amount of two, almost $3 million, which includes $200,000 in contingency. We've executed an amendment to the contract uh, to complete the preliminary design. So total spent as of May 22nd is $1.64 million. The request before you tonight is not, we're not requesting additional funds, we're just requesting to reallocate some of the funds that we have programmed towards this advanced study and then the additional scope of work. So with that, the recommendation is to adopt a resolution to award an amendment to the professional services agreement with CH2M Hill Engineers, which is, which is really Jacobs, uh, to include the advanced treatment study and other necessary project scope changes and authorize the city manager to execute the amendment following approval as to form by the city interest with the finding that it's in the best interest of the city. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks, Mayor. I, once, can you um, can you explain the real necessity behind all this as an everyday consumer of the community? I, yes, I can really summarize it. This is good. this is going to be a bit blunt, but <laughs> please do. When you flush your toilet, you want it to go away, and you don't ever have to deal with it basically. And so for us to be able to operate the wastewater treatment facility, it's not like we have storage capacity there. So as flows come into the treatment plant, we have to treat them and we have to discharge them. We don't have capacity to hold it for days. And so um, this project is necessary because our, of what happened in 2011, what further happened in 2017, the choices available to us are, are getting more restricted. Not only that, but then the regulations from the state are beginning more restrictive. And so as we move forward, we know at some point in time we're gonna to have to move towards advanced treatment. What, is, what does it mean when I say advanced treatment? That's tertiary treatment. It's additional treatment processes added to the plant to improve the quality of the water even more so that you can discharge directly to the Feather River. You don't have to worry about dilution. You don't have to have it go through an evaporation percolation process. And so if you, you can either pay to install this new outfall diffuser so you get dilution and place a bet that the state's gonna allow us to continue to do that for years to come, or you can pay to upgrade the facility to do advanced treatment. You're still, um, you might be able to at that point modify the existing discharge to side bank, um, but you would still have improvements associated with that. And we've been successful in the past in terms of coordinating with the state to get our NPDES permit, which we have to have to be able to operate the plant. Mm -hmm. And so we are, we are at the mercy of the state when it comes to that. Um, we have been successful in coordinating with them to be able to continue to utilize our outfall diffuser and do, do secondary treatment, which is a benefit to our customers because we're not having to put the money towards the expensive upgrades, which then impacts our rates. But there, there will be a day that we don't have that opportunity. So as we discussed the $35 million project, which will directly impact rates, um, we just felt it was prudent to bring this forward and take a step back. I'm glad that you explained it so whoever's watching, they have a better understanding of the actual um, it's it's a precursor to hopefully determine if there is a, a need to spend that thirty five million or is it could it be less and so I appreciate you doing that and explaining it. Thank you. Diana, is there a difference between advanced treatment and secondary treatment? Are those one and the same? Different. So secondary treatment is the level that we treat right now. Okay. Advanced treatment is additional treatment processes that you're bringing online, whether it's membrane filtration, um, you know, different other other processes, expensive processes to run the wastewater through, so that you have a higher, even higher quality effluent water that's discharged. And uh, just for clarity purposes, that these are all, all these processes, which are very expensive, is, are mandated by the state. We do this well. So right now, our the secondary treatment that we provide is we're allowed to do that under our current NPDES permit, which we just recently renewed. Um, there's no guarantee going forward as we continue through the five-year process for renewal um, that the state would continue to allow that. We're we're becoming um, it's unusual 
very extremely unusual for an agency to be able to operate the way that we are. We are, right. And, and that's, that's thanks to a previous utilities director, uh, Bill Lewis, who really fought hard with the state for us to be able to um, utilize dilution. But the day is coming, so be thinking ahead. It's it's prudent to be thinking about it right now. Right. And uh, if memory serves, when I went on the tour, we were already putting the water back into the river cleaner than when we pulled it out. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So which is which is great. So thank you very much. All right. Is there any public comment on the item? None received. All right. That being said, we're here for a motion. Through the mayor. Yes, sir. I'd like to adopt a resolution to award an amendment to the professional service agreement with CH2M Hill Engineers, Inc. to include an advanced agreement study and other necessary project scope changes and authorize the city manager to execute the amendment following approval as to from the city attorney with the findings that it's the best interest of the city. Second. All right, first and second. First by Manny, second by Councilmember Espindola. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? None. Thank you very much.